Right, changing this plug, let's have a little look while I'm changing it. It's not leaking or anything. It's all peely, it's in a bit of a state. You know, so we're gonna change it without taking the ceiling down below it. So first job, this was off already, so let's guard that. Pull the middle section out. Right, then we need to unscrew this. So, like I said, I've taken these two sections out. We need to unscrew this out. I've bought what I think is the same trap, which is a McAlpine. And in the McAlpine pack, there is a little spanner that I'm hoping will unscrew this because otherwise that will be a real pain to get out without this special spanner. Plus, it'll probably have some silicone under there as well holding it. So, definitely that is what we need. So, yeah, spanner fits. But because there's probably some silicone on there, we don't want to break this spanner because any plastic, I have to be a little bit careful. movement just be careful yeah a bit of movement now it's a good sign Let's... there we go so get it up uh, you can see you use the little Spanner that's come with the new the new waste. And there we go. Old waste dart in there. Let's have a little look what we got in there. I'm gonna give it a little clean now. It hasn't actually dropped down because it's probably been sealed initially. So I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna touch that. I'm gonna clean this up and just replace the top section. Right, just to show you what is below the shower tray. So this, this is the new trap. Um, this is what's going into the waste. So your waste pipe would be in there, the compression would be tightening that up but to get to that if you've got a leak there then i'm afraid you're going to be taking a section of your ceiling down so we're not worried about that today uh, we haven't got a problem with leaks or anything it is just a case of swapping it for a nice neater plug hole basically so we're all good there but that's how it will be under there and that's under the floorboards this is the section that's pushed up against the bottom of your shower tray and it's got a rubber seal on. At the minute, I've took this out, I've unscrewed this out, and this was holding this in place. In some instances, that would drop down. And that's what I said in, in terms of getting, possibly like a piece of copper, hooking it down there and pulling it back up. Sorry. <laughs> so, because you want this pushed up against the bottom of the shower tray before you screw this on and then this will hold it in place. As I showed you before, this hasn't dropped down, so whoever fitted this has probably put a bit of sealant on there, stuck the seal on, a little bit of sealant on there, and that's actually stayed in place, attached to the bottom of the shower tray. The reason I'm not gonna start messing about with it if I take it off, I'm gonna to have to try and clean all this, get all the sealant off, it'd be a pain. I've only got that little hole to do it. So let's leave that in place, it's sealed. Let's just change the new plug. Um, we, can, we, can, we, can, we can put a new um, one of these in, which is for getting any 
hair or debris that gets trapped down there. So, first of all, we're going to just give it a clean. I've got some wonder wipes, just going to give it a nice little clean because we are going to reseal this with some sealing. So, we want it all nice and clean. So, I'm going to clean this edge. And give it a good dry. Just gonna get some little bit of a gunk that's just I've got to be a bit a little bit careful. I don't wanna go and knock the trap the trap off. So that's all good. Right, I am gonna just quickly, just because it's quite mucky and it's just all in the thread and we're gonna be threading the new plug into that. So I'm just gonna gently just, just, just run a little bit of water and get any debris washed away. Right, so brand new plug, take this tape off, protective tape, so we've got a nice new plug, it looks, looks the same to me, um, so that's how the old one was, it's all a bit battered. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to just basically silicone around that edge and screw it in. Using stick saw, uh, I've just got some crystal clear stick saw in the band, so that's what I'm using. Um, I generally use stick saw, often white, but it doesn't matter if it's clear or white. Um, right, so seal. Doesn't matter. Probably better off to have more than not enough because we're going to wipe the excess off anyway. So plenty on there. You know, you can even put some round the plug as well if you want, just to make sure. Make sure it's dry though. So I'll give it another little dry. Little bit round. can see so and we're going to drop him in we're going to get the little tool which I don't know what we'd be doing if we didn't have this so to get him in there I hope that we're going to get the thread Just be, just be careful, you know, you want to catch the thread, you don't want to be cross-threading it. So, nice and gently. I can... Oh. So you don't have to go ridiculously tight. The seal underneath is already in place. But it will just pull it up and just hand tight. <clears throat> just try and basically do it as, hand, as hard as you can hand tight. I wouldn't get a spanner on it. Just, I've got a bit of a spraying thumb so I'm being a bit careful. So I think I'm happy with that. You want to get a wonder why? 
get all that excess off, a little bit excessive there, I've put a lot on, it doesn't matter. Not way too much, but it doesn't matter, let's get it off, it's fine. So, any imperfections in the shower tray or anything, seal it will just fill, seal. Using your finger, clean the chrome off. Let's have a little look. It's all right to me. Nice and nice and shiny, new. For that so next what they did I'm going to use the new one of this as well because it's got a an o-ring there on the old ones a little bit worn so let's pop this in basically we're going to line these up with the section in there if you look on the new one you will see a section there so we're just lining it up. You can see in there, and you line it up and then give it a little twist anti-clockwise. Down, good push in, push it clockwise and it's locked in. <laughs> 